Well, I guess what you're getting at is, you know, the, the Wichita State game uh, was, you know, certainly looked different than our game, the game before it and, and other games, and we weren't as effective in our press, and we didn't score as many points. So, yeah, people are going to watch that. People are going to uh, see some of the strategic things that Wichita State did that maybe were successful against us. They may try to copy those things. You know, we have to take a look at that game and just get better at what we need to get better at. Uh, you know, I, I, I really think in, in, in scouting and in preparing for games, it's much more about your team and what you can do to be more successful with your guys. Uh, you know, certainly you want to know what the opponent's going to do, what they're going to run on offense, what defenses they're going to play. But it's more about your guys, first of all, being in the right frame of mind, and second of all, executing the plan. You know, our guys don't like to lose. I mean, if they did, then uh, they'd be in the wrong place because, you know, in our program, we don't, you know, games like Tuesday night, we don't take too kindly to. So it gives us, it's an opportunity to, to grow, to move forward. I think at this time of year, that has to be paramount, is moving forward and getting better. And I think our guys are, are dedicated to that. And like I said, we had to take yesterday off. Um, you know, I would have liked to practice an hour after the game got done. Um, but, you know, the next two days in practice will be very spirited and very demanding. And I think our guys will, will move forward. Coach, the free throw issue, how has Coach you handled that? How much is mental? How much is this getting reps? Both, it's both. I mean, we've got to get reps. Uh, and we, we, get rep, we get a lot of reps in practice, but we certainly will get more. Uh, you know, everything you do in practice, you have to find a balance uh, because, you know, you, you could keep your guys in the gym for, well, the NCAA allows four hours a day. Uh, and then you might say, wow, well, they're going to be mentally worn down if you do that every day. So you just you got to find the balance between getting better at things like free throws um, and, and overdoing it. But but you're right, it's mostly mental because there's a huge difference between shooting free throws in Franklin Street gym with a manager underneath the rim rebounding for you, and then shooting free throws uh, in a real game with a with a real pressure situation. Uh, you know, like Javante down two, shooting two you know, 0.5 seconds on the clock. Uh, I think most of our guys are very good free throw shooters, uh, but they haven't shown that yet. It's early in the year. I mean, we've only played two games, but, you know, certainly that's something that if we shoot the ball better on Tuesday night, we probably win the game. But, you know, even, even if that's the case, there's, there's still things to get better at. What happens is sometimes when you win – it masks issues that you have as a team. And every team has issues, particularly at this time of year, things to get better at. Winning can mask that stuff. Losing exposes that stuff. And I, in that way, you know, Tuesday night's result, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's good in that it exposes some things that we need to get better at. We have uh, such a good group of guys in that they, they're really excited to play. And Friday night just through the roof for the season opener, then Tuesday night uh, through the roof for, you know, a national TV game against an opponent that we, we know really well and respect a lot and uh, know is a terrific team. So I think there's a fine line between being excited and getting a little bit jittery, and I think there, there were certainly some jitters there at the line. Yeah, I don't think it was lack of intensity at all on defense. I do think there was, uh, again, because maybe we were a little jittery at times, there was a lack of attention to detail, some of the things that we, that we practice and we know to do. But it wasn't a lack of intensity. Our guys played very hard. Uh, I think more uh, at times concentration wasn't there. And... Tuesday night was the first time that we faced any level of adversity since last year on the court. Um, but we didn't see it Friday night. We didn't see it in our exhibition game. 
Uh, not allowed to talk about our closed scrimmage. Uh, we didn't see it in Italy. Uh, so for a lot of our guys, it's been a long time since since they've been punched in the mouth. And uh, that's, it's good experience. You know, now you got to respond and, and learn how to, how to deal with that. Let's say Javante makes the layup at the end and gets fouled and makes the free throw and we win by one. What happens naturally is, especially from a player's point of view, and I would say even to some extent from a coach's point of view, although you try to, you, you, you try to, to get over this, is those issues aren't as big of a problem when you're winning. But when you lose a game, then all of a sudden, whoa, this is, this is stuff that needs to be fixed. Um, and I think that's the greatest thing to me about responding to Tuesday. And, and our guys, since I've been here, have always been good about this, is now – you know, they're, they're really, really wide-eyed in terms of, all right, what do we got to do, coach? The reason we put the schedule together like this is to give us opportunities to play top-flight competition and prepare us for the Atlantic 10, and, and we're excited about that. Oh, all kinds. Coaches are very superstitious, superstitious but we call them, uh, we, we say we're routine-oriented as opposed to superstitious, but, uh, you know, they end up, uh, some of them end up uh, being disproven and some of them are, you know, continue to work out. I, I worked for Oliver Purnell at Clemson and at Dayton. He was very big on if something worked, he was going to go back and, and do it again. So uh, he, he certainly influenced me to some extent there. Are there any you can share with us? For example, it was pointed out to me that you wore the same outfit against Wichita State as Kansas against Wichita State. Is you now retire that outfit, or how does it? Well, I'll tell you the truth, uh, and this is why you know it, common sense prevails. And that you know, if if your team's a better team that night, you're going to win. If you're not, you're not. If you're not the better team that night, you're not going to win. But yes, uh, that shirt and tie uh, I happened to wear in the bracket buster game two seasons ago against Wichita State. And then I wore it again against Kansas, but it wasn't intentional, like this is a lucky shirt and tie. Uh, and then last year when we played them in the tournament, when we were watching tape uh, before leading up to the game, it wasn't me. Someone else in the staff mentioned, hey, that's the shirt and tie that you wore against Kansas the one that I had on in the Wichita State game the first time around. And because we have all these pictures around here of the Kansas the celebration and, and that. So I wore it again for the NCAA tournament. And uh, then Will texted me on Monday night. He said, make sure to wear that shirt and tie. And I had completely forgotten about it. So I, I brought it out. I wore it. But again, sometimes those things are disproven. Uh, if we play Wichita State again, I don't think I'll worry too much about, about the shirt and tie. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we'll take it. But yeah, just coaches are very superstitious because the reality is uh, we care so much about what we're doing. And we put so much into what we're doing that we don't want anything, even the smallest little detail, to potentially take away from it. And... You know, luck is a funny thing. Uh, I, I think uh, there's, there's sometimes things that are on your side and sometimes things that are not on your side. And, uh, but the reality is, after the game, you, you focus on what are, the, what are the things that you control that you can do better. So that's, that's what we're doing now.